So for this question, we're given four graphs which are labelled 1, 2, 3 and 4 here, um, and the graphs in y and x. And we want to know which pairs of graphs do not intersect. We're given five possible pairings. Um, so the first point of this question is that we only need to check the possible pairs, not all the combinations. For example, 1 and 4 isn't an option here, so we don't need to consider that. So it will save you a lot of time if you only consider these pairs here. Um, so can you have a think about what we might use to try and work out whether a pair of graphs do intersect or don't? So we want to know um, what the sine of b squared minus 4ac is. This is the discriminant, and what, is, what this tells us is the number of solutions that an equation has. So if this is greater than or if this is strictly greater than zero, then there will be two solutions, so we definitely have an intersection. Um, the solutions will be the points of intersection. Um, if we have one solution, then the lines meet like a tangent, but they're not going to intersect. And if we have um, it less than zero, then they don't touch at all. There's no intersection. Okay, so let's first consider A. So we have um, one and two for A, the, these two equations. So we have that 3x minus 2 is equal to x squared when they intersect. Um, and we can rearrange this to um, 0 equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. And so we can work out the discriminant. We have the coefficient of, this, of x squared is a. The coefficient of b squared is the b, of x, sorry, the coefficient of x is the b. And the constant term is c. So when we substitute these into this formula, we get that it um, gives minus 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2, which is greater than 0. And so we can rule out a. So for B, we do the same thing with um, the first and third graphs. And when we work this out, we get that it's also greater than zero, so we can rule out B. So why don't you pause the video and have a go at doing this for C. So for C, we're looking at um, graphs 2 and 3, so this one and this one. So when we work this out, we get 2x squared minus 1 equals 0. So A is 2, we don't have a B, so B is 0, and C is minus 1. And so this is also greater than zero. So continuing in exactly the same way, we do it for D, we get that it's greater than zero, and when we do it for E, we get that the discriminant is less than zero, and this means the graphs don't intersect, and so E is our correct answer.